I'm coming to you from Amritsar in Punjab in India to talk to you about user experience and to give you this idea of what a user experience, what user experience is at the high, highest level. First, a definition. User experience is an umbrella term that we use to kind of encompass all the things people do when they inter interact with an information system. You'll remember from other discussions that an information system is a computer-based system that captures and manages and produces and shows uh, information. And you'll remember that information is the stuff we want to consume, the videos, the, the books, the, the songs, the images, the sounds, etc. that we want to consume. So user experience really is an umbrella term that encompasses all the different kinds of interaction we have when we, when we uh, work with an information system. So to give you a closer feeling, but not get into too much detail, which we'll get into as we go along about what user, what user experience is, let me give you an idea of the kinds of subfields that it, that it encompasses or people who would call themselves a part of user experience. First ones are um, information architects. Information architects, hi guys, come on through. Yeah. How are you? Say hello to my class in the hello. United States. <laughs> okay, you can watch if you like. Okay, so information architecture is the way that information is displayed and structured. So we use the term information architecture to talk about how we divide up information, how we name more information, how we organize information, and how we, then how we present it on the screen. An information architect in an information system would decide how, what things are called, would decide what kinds of information are stored in the system, and how that information is organized. Uh, the next kind of person I want to talk to you about is an interaction designer. The interaction designer um, works with the conversation that goes on between a user and a system. So the user wants to accomplish something, the system has certain things that it allows the user to do, and the user goes into a conversation with the system. Now I use the word conversation, but what's actually happening is the user is clicking and typing and the system is responding in some way. But that's an interaction. It's an interaction between a user and a system where the user does something, the system does something, the user does something, the system does, the system does something. An interaction designer would go through all the different things that a user might want to accomplish in a system and would figure out the best ways that that system can afford or allow the user to do those things. Next up is the graphic designer. Graphic designer is probably the easiest for you to understand because it's pretty clear what a graphic designer does. The graphic designer puts a look and feel on the system. It puts a color scheme on the system. It puts iconography on the system. It figures out how all the bits and pieces of the system should be shown to the user in order to give the user the best experience. The information architect works on the user experience from the standpoint of the information, how it's presented and how it's organized. The interaction designer works on the experience. Bye, guys. The interaction designer works on the experience from the standpoint of the interaction between the system and the user. The graphic designer works on the, the user experience based on how the user is going to um, see and feel and ex directly experience in a sensory way the system. And finally, the UI designer. UI designer isn't necessarily a separate category. The UI designer, I put, it in, I put this person in here because the UI designer or user interface designer um, is the technologist that makes all this stuff happen. If the graphic designer says we want a button of this color, the UI designer is going to make sure that the button comes out that color. If the interaction designer says when the user clicks this on this button, this new screen comes up, the UI designer will make sure that that screen actually comes up. The UI designer is the technician. It's the person who puts the, the programming code and the HTML code or whatever other kind of code is necessary behind the system to make it work. So those are the kinds of people that go into to, um, to user experience, not all the kinds of people, but the kinds of people that I want to focus on for the present and the kinds of things that they do. Once again, user experience is how the user interacts overall with the system. And we talked about the information architecture that's, talk, that's taking care of the organization and presentation of the information assets of the system. The interaction designer that looks at the system from the standpoint of the process by which the user goes through to get to their goals. User does this, system does this. The graphic designer that puts a look and feel on the system. And finally, the UI designer, uh, yes, the UI designer that puts the code, that puts the technology behind all of that.